this is how to kind of plan a get together. And so when we're in childhood, preschool, even elementary school, right? Parents plan these. Parents plan our play dates. But when we get to middle school, parents aren't really planning as much, right? They're supporting for sure, but right, it's not happening as much. And by high school, it's really not happening at all, right? And, and that's, uh, of course, there's exceptions and, and for individuals that need support for sure. But I think largely speaking, right, we move from this idea of play dates to our teens and our young adults trying to organize these things on their own, which is hard. And so having this kind of nicely laid out, like just right before you decide you want to spend time with somebody thinking about who do you want to be there? Who's going to be invited? And should I invite somebody else in the middle of it? No, right? I want to make sure that whoever's going to be invited knows who's going to be there, kind of planning that ahead of time. What are we going to do? In the beginning, we really want to make sure, especially we're doing activity-based get-togethers because that's where they can just learn from each other, but also not just stare at each other and I don't know what to say next, right? You have something to kind of occupy your time. The when, when is it going to happen? Saying something like, we should hang out sometime. That may never happen. So concretely having a plan of like when it, it will happen, where will it be? Letting them know, is it going to be at my house, your house, et cetera? And how is it going to happen? Do I need tickets? Do I need a ride, et cetera? So using these five W's to really plan Okay, how am I going to have my get together? And then during my get together, right, I mentioned activity based, having it be something that's already kind of in place so that when conversation inevitably with anybody dies down, it's not that awkward because you're doing something already. We want to make sure that our guests pick it. If we've invited somebody to our house, we want them to feel like they're comfortable, they had a say in what we're going to do, right? And remembering that friendship is a choice. And if my friend keeps picking the wrong thing or, or a not fun game, then I don't have to see them again or I don't have to keep hanging out with them again, right? Just really following your, your child's lead on that and going with the flow in the moment on and things kind of feel tough. And then finally, keeping it short. I think a lot of times when people have like first get togethers, they think, man, I have to plan this really grand day, but really you might want to just keep it to an hour or even like an hour and a half or, or even less because you're going to run out of conversation things. And so setting our teens up for success with that is important. Having social coaches or, or parents or caregivers following up with things like who picked the activities, right? Did you trade information? So did you have conversation? How much of the time did you do that? Again, getting them to think about, oh, what did I do during this? What were some of the common interests? What could you do with those common interests if you were going to hang out? Etc. right? Did you have a good time? That's a huge, important question. And is this somebody that you might want to see again? This helps parents know, is this somebody I want to schedule again with? 